Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be dyeing hair that I eventually make into a wig. And the items that I used were 5x5 HD lace closure and three bundles. And the um, items that I did use to bleach the hair were the bright white powder lightener that I purchased from Sally's and the 40 balm developer and 20 balm developer that I purchased from Amazon. And these 12 strips I purchased from Amazon, they came in so handy rather than using my little wallpaper. And as you will see, I am distributing the bleach into the hair and I have a pretty loose consistency um, since I'm not dying a closure to the consistency doesn't have to be as thick. And as you can also see towards the top of um, the bundles, I tilt the angle of my brush to like a slanted um, angle so that way there aren't any straight streaks in the hair. And guys, I am not a professional yet at coloring hair, but um, I pretty much freestyled with this hair and it actually came out good. And I'm not going to be talking throughout the whole video because everything is pretty much you know repetitive and um, I'm just going to explain anything that might be out of the extraordinary. So yeah, enjoy this music.
did keep the um, bleach on longer for the closure since I bleached it last. So I, I kept it, um, the bleach on for about, let's say, 30 to 40 minutes. And um, the bundles, I kept the bleach on for that, I'd say about 30 to 35 minutes. going ahead and rinsing out the bleach out of the hair um, before I add the shampoo. After I rinsed out all of the bleach out of the hair, I go on ahead and I use the Cool Moisture Shampoo from Ion and I repurchased this from Sally's and I just made sure to um, really saturate the hair. <music> Guys, after I finished washing out the shampoo out of the hair, I did go ahead and bleach the bundles again. And I didn't show that because it's pretty much the same way I did it before. And so I um, just, I'm just gonna take out the oil off the hair and you know, we the same thing again. But this time I'm gonna add um, conditioner and um, some other products to it to make sure that the hair is revived. guys my back was really hurting me so i was just ready to like be done and you know call it a day <laughs> products that I use um, uh, are the uh, intensity conditioner and I use that after I um, shave my hair again and after I use the intensity conditioner I also use the reconstruct and um, I let that sit in the hair for about an hour or two and this definitely helped you know revive the hair and there weren't like any you know crazy like dry brassiness after I use these products in hair. So if you are a beginner um, in terms of bleaching hair, definitely buy these products. They work very, very well.
so here I am. I am actually um, putting the intense deep conditioner into the hair. I'm basically saturating um, the product into the hair the same way I did the shampoo. And I let this sit inside of the bag for about an hour or two. And after I did that, I added the reconstructor to the hair and I let that sit for about 30 minutes. I also want to say how important it is to add the deep conditioner to every strand of hair. Um, it's very important and once I finished washing out um, all the products in the hair uh, you also want to make sure to air dry your hair don't blow dry it so you don't like add unnecessary you know more heat to it because you definitely process it like twice also I did but um yeah it's just better for you to uh, let it air dry Here is the results, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely think, you know, I I, I did my thing, you know. Even though I'm not a pro yet, but, you know, I did it. <laughs> so, yeah, so definitely like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And definitely stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.